Here's a look at the new YouTube app that's been updated for Android 4.0 and the new Jelly Bean that's soon to be updated for Galaxy Nexus owners. I currently have the white Galaxy Nexus I bought from eBay. So yeah. Um so what's new with this updated YouTube app is this new subscribe feed. So now it's more focused on the thumbnail. As you can see the thumbnails are a lot bigger, it's more dynamic. Uh, you know, it's the 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 video, the information of video is is now on the bottom left together with the uh the time as you can see there. And it, it gives more it gives more like cleaner look and it's it's like less cluttered and it's more focused on on the thumbnail of the video itself as you can see you could easily just scroll down and the new th another new thing about this updated app is that when you scroll to to the right um you it opens a new um and you kind of like a tray and it has this um the channel feed i mean it lists all the the channels that you're actually subscribed to, and you could just easily tap on one of them, and it goes straight to their channel. As you can see, I got quite a lot, so it just lists every single thing, and you can just keep scrolling down. As as you scroll down even further, you could you could search future videos by their categories right there. Um. What's also new is that instead of going to the menu and to go to your account, you can just swipe to your left and just tap to your account. And what's also the same is you get the new history tab, which was not found on the previous YouTube app. But this is also when you tilt the device landscape view. You get this kind of you, you see four videos at the same time, so there's there's four in there, so it, it's you, could, you there's more videos that you can see in one on one screen compared to when you're looking at it on a uh, on a portrait mode. That goes that goes the same when you try to search a video. For example, let's search a video involving Galaxy Nexus. So here the the thumbnail isn't as big and there's more videos. Now there's at least six videos that you could see in one in one screen because the thumbnail is not as big as you as you saw on the subscription feed. And here but if you look at it the thumbnail is actually bigger than the one found on the older YouTube YouTube app, as you can see, they they focus on the thumbnail and less on the information given, like the title. As you can see here, the title is a bit cut out. So AOKP something rooted. It I'm guessing that meant rooted, but it wasn't it wasn't shown. So. There's less information, but uh, I don't really mind that. I like the idea that they give, that they focus more on the, uh, the the look. I mean, the the picture, the thumbnail of the video. And when you tap a video, perhaps if try this, there's a bit of a U, um, UI tweak in here when you're watching a video as well. Um, like here, the pause button. Is there's like a red ring around it? I th I I think it used to be blue, and the same goes with the scroll. I mean, it's it used to be red, but now it is. It's a little bit of a tweak. So when you press on it, it's like it lifts up. It lifts up, indicating that you you made a command that you wanted to skip a time on on the video itself. So th those are just the minor tweaks, and when you rotate back to portrait, there's a little bit of new stuff going on around here as well. As you can see, what's new now, which I'm really excited about, is this um, dislike and like bar. You know, in the old version, it used to be just it just indicates how many likes and dislikes the video 
has now it gives you a bar green obviously indicating how many likes the video has and red means how many dislikes it has right here the video actually has 45 likes and one dislike so apparently people really like this video so you can see the green overpowers the red so I mean that's pretty straightforward um, yeah I'm subscribed oh well yeah so as you can see right yeah I just did that as you can see I just subscribed to the to the channel just by tapping on it but when I want to unsubscribe I could just tap OK so that's something new as well from this for this version and if you go to the comments tab not much has changed in the comments tab I'm pretty bummed out because I've, I've been hoping that they, they would actually uh, put the top comments out I'm dying to see that feature coming out for the new Android um, YouTube app that they would show the top comments or even rate on a comment but unfortunately we're not seeing that here because I know when you go to YouTube mobile app in the browser you could actually see the top the top rated comments but they didn't implement that in this update as you can see once again in the related tab the, the thumbnail is a lot bigger so it gives you more if you focus more on the uh, on the thumbnail of the video, the picture of the video, rather than the uh, the information given. So I I don't really mind that. I think that's a little bit better. But I mean, pe other people may not be too happy, but I'm not too worried about it. So what else? Um, if you go to the settings tab, if you go, there's a new tab. I mean, if you guys can see that. Um what I did so there's this new preloading and you could actually um, enable preload so if if you want to watch a video later you could do that or if you have a slow connection it could preload the video and so when you watch it again it wouldn't be as as slow and if you go back I think pretty much that's it um, just minor changes. The um, if you go try to search a video now, it used to be just this tab. You know you can filter it from when it was uploaded, like today or all time. Now if you try to search something on the search bar, you could also search not just videos but also channels, like this Galaxy Nexus. So those are just minor tweaks. Like what I also noticed is that when you actually um, switch from portrait to landscape with Galaxy Nexus it just immediately um, filters the whole like it just immediately fills the whole screen but, um, before is that if you switch from portrait to landscape with Galaxy Nexus you just have to wait like a, a, a second or two for this the, the menu bar to disappear but here when you actually when, go from portrait to landscape just immediately um, incorporates the whole screen when watching a YouTube video. So this, those are just minor tweaks, not such a big deal. And I really enjoy how it, it's it it gives more of a cleaner look by putting that white font on the bottom left and the time and focusing more the thumbnail of the video. I think they did a great job on it, and it it just gives a cleaner look and. It, it, it just looks cool in my opinion um, just really bummed out that they didn't put the top comment on the, the comment tab but let's just hope that does come in the future well some things that hasn't changed if you go to your um, oh wait yeah here if you look at your account now it tells you how many subscribers you have and how many video views you have before they didn't give you much of that information but now they have and if you go to the upload now it see none of it none of it has changed in terms of looking at the videos you uploaded it's, it's just the same as before you know you can edit delete but if you go to a channel perhaps let's go to android channel uh, it can see the the same look as you could 
the same luck as you would have seen on the subscribe feed. So that's the new YouTube app. It's now available for Android 4.0 devices and most likely and definitely for the new 4.1 Jelly Bean.